Women of the world, we've been fighting for equality for ages now. We must be there by now. Guess what? We're not. Across the planet, women still have fewer resources, less power, less justice and less opportunity. So what do women have more of? More violence, more responsibility and a harder slog for less pay. Or no pay. When times get tough, it's women that lose their jobs. And when services disappear, it's women who pay the price. Time for a hero. A, a superhero. Sido! A bill of human rights just for women. Sido! The Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. Sido! Seeking out inequality, sharing out power. Sido! The superhero for women that you've probably never heard of. Sido? Sido! Hey everyone, welcome to my blog. Today we are going to talk about an important topic. CEDAW CEDAW So, what exactly is CEDAW? CEDAW stands for the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. It is an international treaty adopted by the United Nations in 1979. Its main purpose is to promote gender equality and eliminate discrimination against women in all areas of life. Now let's focus on the main purpose of CEDAW in the Philippines. The Philippines ratified CEDAW in 1981, which means that the country is committed to upholding the principles and goals of this treaty. The main purpose of CEDAW in the Philippines is to ensure that women and girls have equal access to opportunities and rights and to eliminate discrimination against them. CEDAW Women's participation and empowerment are terms that are used by many agencies, including NGOs. The term empowerment was originally used to refer to a process of radical social transformation, whereby excluded social groups could define and claim their rights collectively. Over the years, its meaning has become diffused and its central issue of power has been lost. Now, let's talk about how CEDAW promotes gender equality. CEDAW requires states, including the Philippines, to take measures to eliminate discrimination against women in all areas of life. This includes adopting laws and policies that protect women's rights, promoting gender equality in education and employment, and addressing harmful practices and stereotypes. Discrimination among men, women, and the LGBTQIA community has always been an issue in this society. The things that they can do are not defined by their gender. Although, cultural beliefs may be the basis for gender roles, let's break those stereotypes. Women are only fit as secretaries. They can't be CEOs. Boys don't wear makeup. They must be masculine. Boys don't cry. Which invalidated their emotions and self-esteem. Nowadays, what men can do, women can also do the same. We shouldn't impose restrictions on what a particular gender may do and cannot do. Every man and woman should be treated as human beings. In the eyes of God, we are all equal. We are all valid. I am a woman with peace, equality, dignity, and justice. And you are a man with a unique personality. And I will respect you. So, together, let's end this sexism and toxic masculinity and promote gender equality. So, be proud of who you are. Just be yourself. This is my advocacy. Be an advocate. So, that's a brief overview of CEDAW and its main purpose in the Philippines. It's an important reality that aims to ensure equal rights and opportunities for women. If you want to learn more about CEDAW, I provided some information below. The more I've spoken about feminism, the more I have realized that fighting for women's rights has too often become synonymous with man-hating. If there is one thing I know for certain, it is that this has to stop. I started questioning gender-based assumptions a long time ago. When I was eight, I was confused being called bossy 
because I wanted to direct the plays that we would put on for our parents. But the boys were not. When at 14, I started to be sexualized by certain elements of the media. When at 15, my girlfriends started dropping out of their beloved sports teams because they didn't want to appear muscly. When at 18, my male friends were unable to express their feelings. I decided that I was a feminist, and this seemed uncomplicated to me. But my recent research has shown me that feminism has become an unpopular word. Women are choosing not to identify as feminist. Why has the word become such an uncomfortable one? I am from Britain, and I think it is right that I am paid the same as my male counterparts. I think it is right that I should be able to make decisions about my own body. I think... I think it is right that women be involved on my behalf in the policies and the decisions that will affect my life.